Hello viewers, welcome to QuickBooks 2016, my name is Charles, we are actually walking through module 1 right now and this is the third video, I want to take a few moments in this video and talk to you about the different versions of the QuickBooks desktop software in other words we are going to focus only on the desktop version in the previous video we looked at the difference between the quickbooks desktop and the quickbooks version quickbooks online version but here our emphasis is on the QuickBooks version, desktop version, because it's what we are going to be studying. And this is going to be desktop version for personal computers. There should be, there might be the laptops, desktops, here we are not going to be covering the Mac, those people who are using MacBook. Because with MacBook, it gives you a different, a different view of QuickBooks. So I'm focusing on those who are using PC, personal computers. These are not MacBooks. Hope that one is also very clear. When you go to actually make your purchase, you want to make sure you have enough information to make an informed decision about the software that you are going to, to be purchasing. A little bit of history here during during the period of this version this 2016 version that we are looking at right now you could actually go to any local office supply store for quickbooks or you could go online and you could just find the quickbooks desktop software anywhere and just pay a one-time fee for that software but right now all these days these new versions that are coming out what quickbooks or what the software providers the intuit they are doing they are trying to make everything subscription based what that means is that they are trying to indirectly remove these people who used to sell their product keys, product codes on online and other local service stores, even though you could access them. Because what that means is that these customers are going to be renewing every year, every year, every year. But during the older version, even when this 2016 is inclusive, you could just go and buy a software at any local store, you pay a one-time fee, and you'll be using it for, for three years, and you renew after that. But this time around, it is a subscription based. One year, if the subscription gets done, you keep renewing. That's how we are meaning by looking at the history of how things moved. That's basically what you will see when you go to the Intuit website. You'll be seeing the different packages as we discussed in video number two of this module one. Right now, or as I speak now, what you can do if you want to buy the actual desktop software you can only buy it through the intuitive website 
in other words the company that is providing the software is now the one selling those packages and I, I and I recommend you pick from there so there are other people who are selling but what what those guys are doing they actually go and buy a code and they come and start selling they get a license then on that license they keep looking at how many we have sold it to they sell only one product and they sell it to many people so it is better you buy it yourself from the website because it is a subscription best so as i've said you pick the product from the intuitive website and i'm not saying that you can't get them anywhere they are there but in terms of the pricing they may be a little bit lower but just know the other people they bought a code and now they are just distributing that one code they bought they are making money out of it so because now you will you will want to go out there and you start comparing the prices because someone may say now these other people or these other websites they are selling QuickBooks cheaply of course if you go and keep on comparing the prices when you visit those other websites they just actually take your money and they buy a code from Intuit that's how they are able to sell that software to you but you are not going to be able to buy it at your local office supply store anymore like that so here are some of the different versions that are available the standard has always been quickbooks Pro. QuickBooks Pro, that is the standard. QuickBooks Pro is designed for a small business. It has one to three users. It's a one time fee, and they are going to support this version for three years from the time of purchase. What that means is that you buy the QuickBooks Pro and you pay one, one figure. But that license or that code they have given you is going to be for three years. When the three years elapse, then you go back and start paying for subscription, you start paying annually. But for the start, if you're buying it as a new software and you're buying QuickBooks Pro, they give you that code and it's going to work for you for three years. Hope that one is clear. It's going to be three years from the time of purchase. If you purchase it today, today is Feb. 14th Feb 2014. Three years from that time, you count that is 2025. That is 2026 and 2027. Those are the three years. So by 2027, 2027 it will be expiring in the same month so that's it and after that because we've said that quickbooks Pro is for it it is designed for small businesses and the maximum number of users they are only three 
if 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 maybe you are that company and you you have many users maybe you have let's say five users or you have four users and above it means you will not be able to use this version you will go for another version which is called desktop premier it is called desktop premier or the accountant edition that package will let you have up to five users again it's a one-time fee and it is going to be yours for three years where they are going to be supporting you when you're using that software but what that means is that you pay now you you'll access that software up to three years from three years onwards you will be paying subscriptions that's the implication this is only working for desktops please don't put it on the online versions that's why i was telling you to check the intuity website to get more more knowledge or more information and from that you may think of upgrading to another version because now you may you may be that company that is having more than five people then you also go and go for another another version and most likely at that point you are only going to be able to get the subscription best because the desktop versions they are only those two the desktop premier and the there are three the desktop premier or the accountants edition and the the quickbooks pro so if if you are that company and you're exceeding that you exceed maybe five people five users then you are going to go for the other versions and those are going to be subscription based and we say the subscription subscription based those are starting from the pro plus if you go to quickbooks pro plus that is a version and it is a subscription based for it you will not be paying a one time fee like you pay and you access it for for three years no those ones they are going to be subscription based hope you've got the difference between those between those things because we need to be clear on this after understanding this then you'll be able to know which which item to to pick when you when you have finalized and you want to have quickbooks as your software that you are going to be using so just to know a little bit uh, a little bit of uh, a pricing idea of those different versions please visit the intuit website to learn more since what we are analyzing is a little bit an older version because the one we are looking at here is an older version quickbooks pro 2016 but we shall when you go to the newer version we shall look at them we shall also go to the website and we'll get all the information that we that we actually need from those newer versions so that intuit website is going to help you find all the information that you need in regards to pricing so you just go to that web 
and do some searching and do some research and find the price that we, works for you. Now, I mentioned if you see the word pro plus. In other words, when you see a word plus behind any QuickBooks version, that's a subscription based. So there is a subscription based for QuickBooks Desktop Pro, and that is called QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus. There is one for Premier, that is Premier Plus, and there is also one for the Accountant Edition. Even though these are subscription based, you are going to find that they want to have a one year's worth of money up front. In other words, this you are not going to be paying on a monthly basis. You will be paying that amount once, and that amount is going to be for a full year. Not saying that you'll be paying monthly, monthly. No, they just need that amount up front. That's what you will find on the website. That's why it is very important to visit that website because it's the sole provider of this that we are talking about. Because me, when I looked at that website, I've never, I, I didn't see where they were telling us that the desktop version can be paid on a monthly basis. There was Pro Plus. I just want you to be aware of this when you go out to make your purchase. If you have any question about this, just send us an email. But also, you can put that in the comment section after you have watched this video. Then we can be able to respond and give you the respective links. But I wanted to make sure you had enough information to make an informed decision when you go out to actually make your purchase. Once you make your purchase, you may want to go ahead and get it set up. Why don't you go over and uh, uh, why don't you go ahead and head over to the next video and we we and we talk we, we we talk about more about the new features for for the quickbooks desktop version but remember this version we are i'm emphasizing this this version we are looking at the pc versions we are not looking at the mac in other words, this quick QuickBooks I'm, I'm running on my laptop, as you are seeing there, it is on a PC. It's not a Mac, a MacBook. Because MacBooks have different versions, like they look different. It may be the same, but when installed on a Mac, it will, it will look different. So if you are that person who is using a MacBook, this will not help you. Hope there I'm very clear. So let's meet in the next video and see how we can be able to talk about the different things that we are going to see. That's going to be in module two or section two of QuickBooks. And that section two is going to be about setting up your company file. We'll see you there.